Hey, what's going on guys? It's here Eddie and before I start make sure to hit that like and subscribe button Okay, make sure to hit that subscribe button and Make sure that icon bell right on the top make sure you click on it so when I upload a new video, you are notified. So on this video, I am going to be making and showing you how to make a fruit cocktail. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna be using this clear bow right here to make that fruit cocktail. The ingredients that I'm going to use is going to be Cool Whip. I'm gonna use two of these. And this is to make like plenty for everybody. I'm going to use this cans of fruit, tropical fruit. This can of fruit right here also. I really like the tropical fruit because of this fruit right here. It's real good. I'm going to use a Philadelphia cheese and you can get all this ingredients at any store but I got them at Publix you can also order them at Walmart or online or you can shop for this ingredients at Walmart also this condensed milk it is sweetened condensed milk and the brand, it doesn't matter, but I use the Eagle brand. Pecans, you can buy them in a bag, but I'm gonna use this also, this pecans. I'm also gonna put in this marshmallows, especially the color kind. Because I like the colors of the rainbow and I like the way the cocktail looks. I like, I like using the, the different colors marshmallows. These marshmallows are, they're small as you can see. But I'll be using this also. I think I'm going to use this marshmallows also, but I'm not sure, but I'll see. And basically these are all the ingredients that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to use this mixture right here. And this is going to be for the Cool Whip. Philadelphia cheese and the sweetened condensed milk. So I'm going to get started. So I'm going to get a spoon. And yes, my hands are washed. Okay, this is what the Cool Whip looks like. So I'm gonna use this spoon.
You don't have to use two, but you can use one depending on the amount of servings that you're gonna eat, depending on the amount of people. If it's just one person or five people or less, you can use one. But if it's more than that, you got more people, then you use two Cool Whips. So I'm going to use two Cool Whips because I'm going to share this fruit cocktail with family. The Philadelphia cheese, if it's real hard, make sure to do the Philadelphia cheese first and then you mix it. You use the, the mixture before you even put the Cool Whip in the bowl. Because sometimes when the Philadelphia cheese is real hard, then it's, it's hard to break. Next, I'm going to use the sweetened milk. I always make sure to have the lid washed before I use it because it might have germs or, especially for that, to be clean. And when you open it, you lift this little thing right here upwards make sure when you do this at home you don't cut yourself so I just pull it back slowly and this is what the condensed milk looks like I'm just gonna put it all in there This is what it looks like so far. I'm gonna try out the mixture. So I'm gonna try out the mixture. So now I am going to try out the mixture.
sure, and I'm making sure that everything is mixed well with the mixture. As you can see, the way it looks. Real smooth. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pour this fruit in there next. Always make sure to wash the lids to take off the germs, to clean it up. Before I pour the fruit in the bowl, I will put some juice from the, from the fruit in the bowl. Not everything, but some. So this way it will give a better taste to the fruit cocktail. Even though it's gonna taste good, but I want to it to have that flavor. So, when I pour the fruit in this bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and pour some juice also from the can to give it a better flavor. I'm not gonna pour it all, all the juice from the fruit, I'm just gonna pour some. So, and this is to give it a better flavor. As you can see, I'm gonna pour some and then so now I pour some of the juice but as you can see there's the juice from the fruit to give it a much better flavor So I'm gonna go ahead and mix the juice So now I am going to use this can opener right here so I can open this can of fruit right here because I can't open it with my hand because it's not like this one that it has that lid to open and this handle right here it doesn't have that so this is much easier to open with the hand and on this one, as you can see, 
it doesn't have that handle so I have to use the can opener and I have washed the lid to take off the germs off and for the lid to be clean now I am going to open the can I'll be pouring a little bit of juice here, not a lot, for the flavor. And if the lid is like this, don't use your fingers because you might cut yourself. So in this case, I'm just going to use a spoon to lift the lid up just like that so what I'm going to do next I am going as you heard and saw this broke I'm glad I nothing happened bad that I didn't cut myself but I'm going to go ahead and pour this can of fruit in here. I'm going to pour another can of fruit. And I'm going to pour the last one. I'm also going to add Pecans. So I can just go ahead and add them like that. Or just broken pieces. Just if you want to break them. See the pecans. So. I'm going to go ahead and break them. I can go ahead and just drop them like that. Just go ahead and drop them. I'm still going to mix it though. Because I have to mix it. So now I am going to mix all the ingredients with this spoon right here. Make sure it's mixed real good. I needed it another can of fruit that I didn't have anymore. So I just have to use what I have. So I'm still gonna add a little bit more of pecan. Then mix it up. And 
It's going to look just like this. It's going to look just like that. If you see that it's, there's not enough fruit, you can go ahead and add another can of fruit to make it better. In this case, I do need another can of fruit. Now, what I'm going to add next is going to be marshmallows. The color, the color ones. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and look how nice it looks. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. This is what it looks like. Looks real good. But now I'm going to add more marshmallows right on the top. To make it look better. As you can see what it looks like now, it looks real good, delicious. And this is how you make a fruit cocktail. Now, let's try it. Now, I am gonna go ahead and try the fruit cocktail. Real good. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Real good. I really like pecans. You want some? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, good. This is delicious. What a great dessert. Mmm. This is so delicious. I recommend. What a great dessert. Thumbs up. Not because I made it, but it's because it tastes so good. So this is what it looks like. So this is it on how to make a fruit cocktail. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe 
Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.